I want you to get the most of your brand new iPad Air 5. So let's take a look at some of the best accessories you can use to get the most out of your new iPad Air. Sponsored by Best Buy. Hey, I'm Jerry. And the new iPad Air is amazing and has some great upgrades from the previously redesigned iPad Air 4, including that super fast M1 chip, 5G options, and that front ultra wide camera for center stage. And you know what an iPad is. It's a very capable and compact computing device that you can take with you. So you should probably have a capable and compact charging solution to go with it. Yes, Apple includes a 20 watt charger in the box, but it's bulky. So why not pick up a more compact charger to go with it? And the Anchor Nano Pro is a GAN charger and it's just right. Just like the Apple charger, this much smaller, more compact charger outputs 20 watts and will charge the iPad Air at the same speed, but takes up so much less space. The Anchor charger is just better for more compact spaces like behind a nightstand, where if you use the Apple charger and connect a cable, unless the nightstand's pushed way out from the wall, you're gonna crush part of the cable. But it's also nice just to have a second charger for travel or for work or whatever you need to toss in a bag, and this tiny little guy fits the bill. Next up is the one accessory I could not live without, and that's the Apple Magic Keyboard. I've been in love with this keyboard case since it was released in 2020, and it's how I use my iPads at least 90% of the time. The iPad just attaches magnetically to the case itself, and because of these little pins here, it passes through power and communication to the keyboard. I just really like the feel of the keys on the iPad Magic Keyboard, and it's really easy to switch back and forth between this iPad Magic Keyboard Apple's MacBook keyboards, and of course the external separate Magic Keyboard for desktops. They all basically just feel the same, which is really good for me. If you haven't tried the mouse support on iPadOS yet, you should definitely give it a shot because it's a whole new mouse experience with a circle-shaped cursor that changes depending on what you hover over. The trackpad on the iPad Magic Keyboard is made of glass, and like other Apple trackpads, you can actually click anywhere you want because the whole trackpad is clickable. The floating hinge design is just awesome. And I remember when Apple released the first video, I was just blown away by this thing. And as with a number of the products we're talking about today, you can actually get one of these iPad Magic Keyboards today if you want it by going to bestbuy.com. There you can select from a number of delivery options, including same day pickup. So you can actually go to your local store and pick up this iPad Magic Keyboard without waiting for delivery. Or even better, you can actually do curbside pickup. So you pull up and somebody will bring it out to your car for you. This is a fun case to use, but it is expensive at around $300. So if you want a keyboard case that won't break the bank, check out this ESR Ascend keyboard case. This case is kind of a hybrid case between the iPad Magic Keyboard and other third-party cases that you've seen. But it's actually better in some ways. First of all, it has its own protective case, which means you can detach the iPad from the keyboard and go use it on the couch or wherever you want and not have the keyboard attached without losing the protection that you want from scratches and bumps. Second, there's this almost infinitely adjustable kickstand on this case, which means you can set it at any angle that makes sense for you. So you can go nearly flat or you can go nearly vertical to get just the right position that you're looking for. Third, you can set the iPad up in vertical or portrait mode, which is good if you're doing a lot of writing or reading. And fourth, this keyboard case has function keys to change brightness and volume and controlling media. You can lock the device and you can quickly get to the home screen. Now that's a lot for under $80, but it also includes this cover for the Apple Pencil. So if you do use an Apple Pencil, the flap will just sit over the Apple Pencil and you don't have to worry about losing that in a bag. Now, if you're not a keyboard person, but still want some great protection, ESR also has this rebound hybrid case, which like the previous case is a hybrid and has built-in protection plus a folio style case that acts as a stand. You can place the tablet inside the case and still use it as a tablet, but with great protection. And then when you want to watch something, you can use the folio style cover to get just the right angle that works for you for whatever you're trying to watch. You can place it in front like that in kind of tent mode, or it can go in the back like the full folio style setup. Now, when it comes to protecting the screen of your brand new device, I prefer these iCares matte screen protectors. I put these iCares matte screen protectors on all of my devices, and I'll be doing that today with this iPad Air 5. I prefer these matte screen protectors because they take a lot of the reflections and glare off of the glass of the iPad. This makes it easier for me to use in bright rooms or even outside. Just look at the difference between these and how much more reflective the iPad is without this screen protector. These iCare screen protectors are very thin with a smooth texture that does not take away from the experience of using an iPad with your fingers. And in fact, actually makes using the Apple Pencil even better because compared to plastic on glass, 
this has a slight resistance that actually just feels much more natural. There are other brands that sell films like this, but I've been using these eye care screen protectors for about three years consistently, and I highly recommend them. Okay, now for something crazy. And if you saw my iPad mini videos, you may have seen this already. And some of you may know that you can mirror an iPad to an external display. Well, because these newer iPads actually have USB-C built in, you can actually do quite a bit with them. And that's where a dock or a hub like this CalDigit Soho comes in. This is a great little travel dock that's perfect for home, office, or travel use. With a single connection to the iPad, you get the ability to connect an external monitor with either HDMI or DisplayPort. Plus, you get a USB-C port for 10 gigabits per second, a USB-A port, also 10 gigabits per second, and two UHS-2 SD card readers, one full-size SD and one micro. Now you can use the Soho and the iPad Air 5 for a full desktop setup. This works well with the keyboard cases that we talked about a moment ago, but you can also use any external Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. I really do prefer the Apple Magic keyboards, so that's what I like to use, but there are cheaper options that work really well, like this Logitech K380 that you can connect to multiple computers or tablets, and you can get it from Best Buy. For a mouse, I like to use either the Apple Magic Trackpad or the Logitech MX Master 3. The Magic Trackpad gestures are just like they are on the iPad Magic keyboard, where Three fingers swipe up will take you home, two fingers up and down and left and right will scroll, and three fingers left and right will switch between recent apps. The MX Master 3 is my favorite mouse of all time. It's just really comfortable to hold, and with the scroll wheel, you can actually set it to continuous scroll mode. So instead of ratcheting and clicking, it acts more like a screen flick on the iPad when you flick your finger on the scroll wheel, and it's very, very smooth. Inside iPad OS, you can actually customize external mice and assign buttons to specific actions, like having one button take you home. One of the biggest benefits of having USB-C on the iPad Air is for external storage devices like this, so you can copy files on or off the iPad, or even if you just want to connect a drive to the iPad with a bunch of external media. For example, you can edit a video on the iPad using LumaFusion, and when you want to transfer that off to external storage as a backup, you can do that. This is the Samsung T7 SSD, which is a solid state drive that uses a 10 gigabit per second USB-C connection that you can copy files from the iPad at over 500 megabytes per second, which is awesome. This drive comes in different colors and sizes between 500 gigabytes and two terabytes. It's small and compact. It's so perfect to just throw in a computer bag. And yes, this is available from our video sponsor, Best Buy, where you can get it today with curbside pickup and not even have to go into the store. Not only that, you can check out Best Buy's top deals page for all of the best deals on computers, tablets, appliances, and more. Actually, I'm getting ready to replace one of my TVs in my house, and so this is perfect. I can scroll down and hit Shop Now on TVs and filter by what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a 75-inch to 85-inch TV for my upstairs game room so I can filter by just what I want to see and find the right TV for me. This QLED Samsung is 8K and might just future-proof me for a bit. Plus, it's on sale from the top deals page. Come to think of it, every TV I have in my house was actually purchased from Best Buy. I love that you can walk into the store and see that giant wall of TVs of all different sizes and prices. If you go, you can check one out and purchase it right there in the store, or you can buy it from bestbuy.com and have it delivered if that works better for you. So check out the top deals page using the link in the description below for all of the best deals. And my thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. I think everyone knows that iPads are maybe the best devices for watching movies and videos because of their great screens and their size. But to get the best experience, you may want to pair a set of AirPods to them. These are the third generation AirPods and a slightly updated design compared to the first two generations. And my wife and I actually both love these. They feel really comfortable even after hours of wearing them, but the best part is just how small and compact this case is. These things are so convenient to always have with you. They are always in my pocket, always, no matter where I am. So I can just pop one or both out and into my ear and listen to a quick podcast or YouTube video anytime. When sitting at my desk or on an airplane, the AirPods Max have been a dream. These are the premium, top of the line AirPods from Apple with active noise cancellation that is really hard to beat. I can just toss these on and focus on what I need to do or watch a movie on a plane and block out all of that ambient noise. The buttons are better and more intuitive than any other noise canceling headphones I've tried. And if you need to have a quick conversation, the transparency mode on these will pass through the full audio of what's around you and it's almost uncanny. 
Also, as somebody who wears glasses all day, these are the most comfortable headphones I've used while wearing glasses, bar none. And last up for the best iPad Air accessories you can get is my Xbox controller. I don't play a lot of games, but I do love playing Call of Duty on iPad with an Xbox controller. This just makes the whole experience so much better when trying to fly around a quarter and get the next kill. This controller pairs with Bluetooth and works flawlessly with iPad, and more and more games on the App Store are starting to add controller support. You can also use the Xbox controller with the iPad to play the online Microsoft xCloud gaming. Okay, I think that about covers it. Those are all my favorite accessories for the new iPad Air 5. But what do you guys think? Is there anything from this list that is a must have that you have to get today? Or is there something missing from this list that we really need to tell people about? Let me know below. Oh, and while you're down there, be sure to check out the top deals page at Best Buy for all of the best deals of the week or for any other accessories that we missed. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.